So, uh, starter issues, right? Where is it? There it is. <laughs> so I went over to Maddie's, uh, I don't know, it was last weekend or the weekend before, and uh, he had this starter, uh, which doesn't work on my machine. The brackets are different and whatever. It's a little smaller. Um, but uh, the gear was good on it. Um, so I put the gear on here, put this on the tractor, went to start it, and stripped right out. The plastic here, just smooth. So apparently this is a metal gear. And that's what happens when you when you do that. So I put the metal gear. Uh, so sorry, I put the new. I bought a new starter. It wasn't much, like thirty dollars or something, and uh, put it on. And um, now she runs. And she's pretty much all ready. Uh, the only thing I have to do here is uh, this handle has to go. Where is it? <laughs> If I can get the okay, so it has to go right there. Uh, the problem is right here. I don't know if you can be able to see this, but there's two bolts, right? Um, there's tabs uh, welded to the frame and bolts welded to those tabs, and that's where these bolts go. This one broke off, so I'm gonna have to go in there and put just a regular bolt in there uh, with a nut on the back side. It'll be all right. It'll work. Uh, but otherwise, everything else seems to work. Um, we had. Three to five inches of snow last week, and my little Gilson just didn't. It didn't even phase it. I, I was out there plowing like like crazy. There was no. I mean, it didn't stutter. It didn't stammer. It stayed running. Um, and in, in fact, the colder it got, the better it ran. Um, so uh, I, I was happy about that, which just tells me it's running real uh, rich. But that's okay. I'll. I'll fix that at a later time. Uh, so, where is the little one? Well, I'll go outside for a minute. It's in what my wife lovingly refers to as my tractor port. You know, like a car port, only for tractors. That's just something I threw together. It's freestanding. Um, so, in the spring, I can just lift, you know, take it apart quickly and store it in the shed. Um, I just got this here for now because the plastic... Uh, door in the front keeps every time the wind picks up it just gets in the way of the garage door but so I got a tire holding the tarp on but anyway you get the idea so it's just sitting in there nice and comfy cozy uh, we had three to five inches I don't know I had probably five inches of snow last weekend and it just it held up great um, didn't fall we've had uh, three or four days of really high winds up like 30 mile an hour gusts and it's uh it's held up really strong so that's where the little guy is and uh, like I said I took him out last week and I did the driveway and that was that worked out well I uh just plowed it straight down went straight down and then across the street and piled it up by uh behind the mailbox worked out well uh, and plowed all this out and in fact, if you look, you can see my line of plowing. <laughs> so, anyway. So, and then, like I said, this thing's working now. In fact, let me put the choke on. Gas on. And... She's a little cold. This one doesn't like the cold as much.
that's loud. And uh, my oil leak stopped because I realized my transmission was like overfilled with transmission fluid. I should have checked that when I bought it. So that's good. And it seems to be holding now before it would drop down slowly. I mean, she's not, she's holding up real nice. I need new shoes on here, but uh, those I'll have to do for now. Um, and it's important that I have this running tonight because they're expecting up to 12 inches tomorrow, Sunday. So, and uh, be in the 30s, so it's another wet, heavy snow. We'll see, you know. Um, if, if in fact we get all that snow, um, I guarantee I will be, uh, I will be, uh, videoing some of it just to, so you can see how it works, but this will be the big test for this baby. Uh, you know, 42 inches from that end to that end ought to do pretty good. At least I hope. And I'm running out of battery, so that'll be the name of that one. Uh, quick mail call in a little bit here. Uh, will be a blink of an eye for you guys, but. And that'll be about it for this one. Okay, uh, a couple things in the mail. New sticker from Carolina Man. Love that sticker. Turned out really well. And Rainbow Bright sent me a Christmas card. Well, me and my family. Wish I'd thought of that. Um... Thank you, Rainbow. That was very, very nice of you. It's a very pretty card, and I love what you said inside. It's very nice. Um, let's go up in the cabinet in a second. So, it's now almost midnight on Sunday night. The snow finally stopped. And I'll uh, take a look. See, we got about 8 to 10 inches somewhere in that range. I don't know what you're going to be able to see here. Because it's pretty dark, and it's not going to focus. So I can turn the, get the light on. There we go. Might help a little. Anyway. Yeah, there we go. Now it's focusing. And uh, the tractor port, you can't see it, but held up nicely. Uh, some pretty heavy snow, and I'm very pleased with it. Um, she, now i got to wait for it to focus. Hang on. So, come on, focus. Focus. Oh, well. Uh, it did a really good job. Um, about 4.30, I took it out. Uh, 4 o'clock, I took it out. Uh, got the bulk of the what was out there. And just like three passes, and it was done. Uh, I got hung up on a few spots because uh, I need new skis here. I don't know if you can see this, but there's not much there. So, get some new one of those, and I think I'll be in good shape. Um, it was surging a little bit, but otherwise, so I need a little carburetor work. But otherwise, it did really well. No chains. I didn't need them. Um, I, I did have my uh, riding glasses on, so there'll be a little footage at the end here if any of it turned out. Um, I also used the uh, little blue and white one, the one that's in the tractor port. Um that thing's incredibly nimble. Oh my gosh. I can do things. I can get in tight places with that thing that I can't with this. This thing's just too big <laughs> for that. But it was good because I had, oh, six or seven inches uh, knocked down to nothing in just like three passes. I mean, I was, I was out maybe a half hour, maybe. Uh, so I um, was very happy I had it. And then I uh, got something else in the mail. Uh, the little blue and white tractor has a flat tire. It keeps going flat on me, so um, I ordered a new inner tube. Uh, it's supposed to be the right size. I guess we'll see. 16 by 650 That's what, by 8. That's what I got. I, hopefully that'll fit. And then I got a couple of these. Hoping it'll help. The, so the screwdrivers just weren't working. So. And they were on sale. And uh, I'm not sure who makes them, but uh, uh, Ken Tool. So hopefully they'll, they'll work out really well. So, anyway. So, yeah, overall, very pleased. Uh, well worth the time and effort to put into it. And uh, she's broken in for sure now, guys. 
<laughs> so, all right. Uh, let me put Carolina Man on the cabinet, and then I'm going to go to bed. And I'll be right back. All right, there he is on the board, or cabinet. I keep saying board. Um, I'm going to run out of space here, so I, I've only got just a little bit more. <laughs> but that's okay. Kind of hard to get a good shot of it with my wife's car in the garage. Um, but uh, it had to be in here. Um, and this snow thrower is 42 inches and it just barely fits between there uh, so but that's all right okay it's been a long day i'm tired i'm gonna go to bed because i gotta get up early and go to work tomorrow so hopefully everybody had a good weekend um at the end of the day uh i'm gonna try and get more videos out but to be honest i you know, the work is taking up a lot of my time. My niece and her daughter moved in. That's taking up time. Uh, you know, it's just busy. You know, life gets in the way. Plus, it's winter. You know, it's kind of hard to get anything done. Uh, but soon, that gas tank's coming off, and I'm going to repaint it because it turns out, and I can't really see it too well, but... Yeah, you can kind of see it here, and then over here is the same. Turns out this cheap Chinese uh, brake reservoir that I picked up for $15 is leaking, but only when you hit, like, high speed. And uh, the wind, as it passes over where this part meets the cap and the body meet, it just whips out just enough to get on the tank and ruin it. So, I'm going to replace this and repaint my tank yet again, uh, but eh, I don't know if you can see it, maybe not. Uh, anyway, it's, it's there somewhere. So, anyway, I'm getting to everybody's videos. You might notice I'm behind, but I am catching up on my little uh, guardian bell in here given to me by a close friend. So, yeah, it's going to be a few more months before I can ride it, but I can at least get it uh, taken care of. But really, uh, that uh, chain maintenance, which I do every year, and I'm going to see if I can get some new pods, something um, um, better than these, because uh, those are just horrible. Uh, also wanted to... Uh, Anyway, so I got it. You can tell I got it really packed in here. Uh, I also got to do something about that choke. It keeps slamming shut on me. Oh, you might see it in the video too. The same thing on this one. Um, I ordered this carburetor, and it's the right part number to match what I have on my parts list for this motor. And uh, but the choke is on this side, and it's a lever, which means my choke cable isn't hooked up. So, um, a couple of times it just slammed shut like that. Um, every, so what I've noticed is it's, it does that when I turn the gas, uh, the throttle up. So what I have to do is slowly increase the throttle and then it doesn't slam shut. I also, I'm going to try tightening the screw because it does seem like it's a little easy to, whoops, I get the camera on it. It does seem like it's a little easy to turn. So i tighten the screw and I think I'll be okay. Uh, but otherwise it ran good um, overall it ran good uh, and the little blue and white tractor runs extremely well in the cold it really loves the cold apparently but uh, that just tells me it's running too rich I just need to tighten it up a little um, so alright later I'm rambling talk to you later bye